hello friends welcome to my channel civil smart today we are going to design a short circular column with axial load through this spreadsheet and the condition is when the column size is known we have already known the column size that is the dia of the circular column so we need to fill our data in these pink cells right so we will find the short or it's a long column definitely it's a short column check for minimum eccentricity that is minimum eccentricity as per the is code it is okay next the find the area of the steel asc area of the longitudinal steel required by this next in the step is the helical reinforcement spirals the dia of the helical reinforcement and the pitch of the reinforcement and this is the design summary we will get so let's start column dia is 400 mm we need to put 400 mm here unsupported length is 3 meter in our case so 3 meter so we have two conditions the column effectively handling position and restrained against rotation in both direction then l effective is given by this formula right the first condition table 28 of is456 when the column is fixed at both the ends so it unsupported length is multiplied by 0.65 and if effectively held in position both direction but not restrained against rotation then it will be multiplied by 1 so in our case this is column is effectively held in position and not restrained against rotation in both direction so we need to take this l effective so 3 is the l effective fck is 25 fe415 we are going to use fe415 and p is 1200 kilonewton right you can choose according to your load condition from the structure now assume clear cover clear cover for column case is 40 mm now we can see that short column or long column l effective by d is less than 12 then it's a short column right in our case this is 7.50 so it's a short column if it is greater than 12 then it will be a long column so we are designing a short axially loaded column so this is a short column now check for minimum eccentricity for minimum eccentricity code is code gives this the unsupported length of the column divided by 500 plus the lateral dimension divided by 30 we need to find and it should be minimum is subjected to 20 mm so in our case e minimum is l by 500 plus d by 30 has been calculated as 19.33 and subject to a minimum of 20 mm so we need to take at least 20 mm right so maximum of our two so e minimum by d has been calculated 0 0.050 and it has been given that when the minimum eccentricity as does not exceed 0 0.05 times lateral dimension the member may be designed by the following equation so it's a short axially loaded member right so e minimum by d should be less than equal to 0 0.05 so in our case it is 0 0.50 so it's okay and axially loaded member so we have find both conditions short it's a short column and axially loaded so we will use this formula 0.4 fck ac plus 0.67 fi asc now we have to find the longitudinal steel asc so factored load is 1800 because p is 1200 so note for circular column with helical reinforcement pu is 1.05 times pu for rectangular column right so it has been given in the code the circular column strength is 1.05 times the rectangular column right so pu is 1.05 times this formula right 0.4 fck ac plus 0.67 fi asc so area of concrete is ac we can find it by ag minus asc we know that ag is the gross area minus steel area gives you ac so ag is pi by 4 into d square we have already know d is 400 m right so it has been calculated as the AG, area of gross so asc required is being calculated by this formula right so 1798 and for minimum reinforcement in case of column is 0.8 percent so we need to take the maximum of these two so if we are assuming a 20 mm dia bar so number of bars are required 5.73 we need to take in a even number so six numbers are required right so six numbers 20 mm dia bars are required for longitudinal reinforcement 
these are the longitudinal reinforcements right so pt provided is 1.50 so this is okay because in case of column 0.8% is a minimum and up to 6% we can provide so 1.5% pt required is calculated now helical reinforcement spirals you can see clear cover we have already provided 40 m core dia this is d capital d is 400 minus two times of clear cover 320 mm area of core is 5 by 4 d square into core dia square this is core diameter this is this square minus ast provided so pi by 4 core dia square we are finding the area of the core right minus ast we have already provided ast of longitudinal state we need to subtract it so this comes the area of the core so assuming the pitch p so volume of core is area of core into pitch so this comes as the volume of core so dia of spirals if you are choosing for this spiral if you are choosing 8 mm dia right so you can see that the volume of spirals by this formula pi by 4 into dia of spiral square my into pi core dia minus phi this is the formula for volume of spiral comes out to be this so you can see from the is code clause 39.4.1 page number 71 volume of spirals divided by volume of core should be greater than 0.36 ag upon ac minus 1 fck upon fy so you can see that p is calculated p should be less than p is the pitch by putting this in this formula p is 48.19 it should be less than 48.19 but as per the clause this the limits of pitch are maximum pitches p should not be greater than 75 mm p should not be greater than core dia by 6 so this is 53 right core dia core dia is 320 divided by 6 so maximum pitches it should not be greater than 53 and minimum pitches p should not be less than 25 mm and p should not be less than 24 mm so minimum pitch is 25 mm so we need to see all these three parameters so it should be less than 48 mm it should be less than 53 mm should not be less than 25 mm so we, you can choose 45 mm is the pitch right you can see so 8 mm 45 mm center to center so this is the design summary d is 400 m longitudinal bar detail 620 m asc provided is this much dia of the spiral is 8 mm pitch of the spiral is 45 mm this is the detailing part this is section aa you can see that provide 8 mm 45 mm center to center provide 6 mm 20 mm and this is the longitudinal section right if you choose 300 this is a short column but not axially loaded column so you need to increase the dia of the steel right if you go for higher dia you can see that it's a short column axially loaded column ag is different now you required 6 plus 1.19 percent so now this is okay so friends if you like this video you can subscribe this channel for more design videos and if you want this actually please please mail me or whatsapp me on my whatsapp number thanks for watching